Everyone is a product, and everyone needs marketing to succeed. Let's talk about it right now on the C-Spot. Going to market with Wendy and Peter. Welcome to the C-Spot. Going to market with Wendy and Peter. This is Peter Sobey right here talking to you and now looking at you on camera. Hello, audience. Wendy Cooper is running a little bit late. So I will be at the reins of the show until she gets here, but we have a very, very exciting show for you today. And we're here every Thursday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And of course now, not only can you listen to the show, but since we're here at UBN Radio, you can watch the show as well. And we post all of our previous shows from UBN Radio here on Wendy's YouTube page, and that is www.youtube.com forward slash C spot run direct. C, the letter C like Charlie, spot run direct. Because Wendy's company's name is C spot run, like the letter C. So if you're ever wondering why the show is called the C spot and C spot talk, that's because Wendy, who is a phenomenal direct response marketer and brand manager extraordinaire her company is a c-spot and you should definitely check her out if you're looking for some direct response action so anyway we are here today on this very fine thursday it's very warm and a beautiful day here in southern california and here on the c-spot going to market with wendy and peter the main focus that we like to talk about is marketing and you know, our one of our models that we like to go by is what it takes to bring a product to market, even if that product is you. So, you know, a lot of times we do talk to people in the direct response world, a lot of times in the marketing world, but Wendy also loves to have artists on the show. Like we'll have authors, singers, musicians, writers, the gamut, you name it, because, you know, that's bringing a lot of times if you are a performer, you're bringing yourself to market. If you're a writer, you're bringing a book to market. If you're an artist, you're bringing a song or an album to market. And it's it's always a really interesting journey. And it's always interesting to find out how different people approach that. And before I get into our guest, who I will introduce here very, very shortly, I just want to mention that don't forget that one of Wendy's favorite Kickstarter campaigns right now is by a young 19 year old inventor named Lexi Eugenia and it is called the Flexi Splash Guard and you can see it there where the water won't splash on you it simply will hit this little splash guard and uh, the Kickstarter campaign is going strong but your support would be great and you can find that Kickstarter at www.kck dot st slash one g four i u k x and you see it on the screen there and here's a picture of lexi 19 years old wendy met her at the housewares invention show a couple of months ago so that's a kickstarter to follow and also you know last week we had clay a bear on the show who's a crowd funding expert and we happened to mention that he was one of the architects behind the kitty o campaign on kickstarter which was just huge in gangbusters and I happen to mention that it was one of my favorites and I actually participated in it and here's a little picture of what that looks like it's an adorable kitty and it's this thing that when you're away from home it can you can give them kitty treats they can play with a little laser light you can actually they can actually hear your voice and there's a camera where they can actually you can actually see them interacting with you when you're away so it's a great way to keep your cat occupied and that Kickstarter campaign just closed, but if you want to see how to do Kickstarter right, the Kitty-O is definitely something to check out. So, now let's get to the meat of the show. There's a very, very, very special person in the studio today with us here. If you remember a few weeks ago, we had an inventor in the show that Wendy also met at the Houseware show, and that was Julie Savalas and um, she is the widow of the late Telly Savalas. And today on the C-Spot, going to market with Wendy and Cooper, before I go into like the long introduction of her bio, I'm gonna introduce her. We have the daughter, she's in a phenomenal, incredible, 
jazz singer with a smooth, sexy, velvety voice. You can see a picture of her there. Welcome to the C-Spot, Ariana Savalas. Hey, Peter, honey. How you doing? I am good. Good, good, good. I'm happy to be here. Was that just torture sitting through all of that talking? No, I was so, so excited because you mentioned like five people that I knew. Not just my mother, but Lexi was right next to us at the Housewares convention. No way. I was there for like moral support at the Housewares convention. And like whenever my mom had to go talk to people, I was just sitting there in a low cut shirt trying to that bring always, attention right. to, the, that always helps. <laughs> to the inventor's corner. And uh, Lexi was right next to us, and she was just a doll, literally a doll. Yeah, and that I haven't invention met her yet, is fabulous. But, but just to be 19 years old and to come up and she's bringing the product to market, it's, it's so unbelievable. It's so obnoxious, isn't it? Like, yeah. what was I doing when I was 19? I know, Nothing. right? Exactly. Nothing. It's really annoying. She's yeah. such an overachiever. And I think she just got into, like, a bunch of different colleges, too. Wow. So good. Good for her. I mean, she'll be paying for her own tuition with that. No joke. Well, there's not many 19-year-olds who are getting a... Uh, I think she got an award at the Housewares convention, too. I think she I think got so. Best Invention at the at the Inventor's Corner. Yeah, that's crazy. Which is fabulous. So And so you guys became her. friends at the yeah, show? Yeah, no. We, we were hanging at the show. She's, she's a doll. Really, really nice person. And uh, I think that she was there with... Uh, with a woman named uh, Tony. Uh, they were just great. Great. I remembered. I was like, when you said Lexi, I was like, Lexi! Right. <laughs> I remember Lexi. Too and that funny. was so nice of you to support your mom. Hi, Wendy. I'm so excited that, like, as the Greek that I am, like, I wasn't the one who was late. <laughs> huh. Wow, how are you, gorgeous? Good. And Wendy is in the studio. We'll let her get settled in, but. <laughs> oh, she looks so festive. Right, yeah. I'm so starstruck. I told I was them, like, yeah, there, Aaron Murphy is here in the radio studio is about, talking about possibly doing a show. And oh, yeah, so I was excited. telling I was telling Tony, like, her oh, and man. Wendy are such <laughs> great friends. You did? Oh, my God. Did it put you to sleep? She just listened to my music all night. It's good. It's a lullaby. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I mean, with a voice like that. I mean, I unfortunately, I missed your live show a few weeks ago oh, when you played at. Oh, that's too bad. Played okay. up at Beverly Glen. <laughs> there will be no shortage of shows. Don't worry. I will catch you at the next one, I hope. But now I've, you know, now that I've discovered your website and the song that you sent that we're going to play a little bit later today, just what a voice. Thank oh you. Oh, my gosh. Thank what you. a sexy voice. You yeah. sweetheart. It's crazy. <laughs> Keep talking. Flattery will get you everywhere. Uh. I, I was, <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I did make it. Here I am. Welcome, <laughs> Wendy, to the C-Spot, going to market with Wendy and Peter. I was trying to make myself all pretty for Ariana today, and I got a little late. Oh, my God. Are you kidding <laughs> you look me? Beautiful, I'm so Wendy. hungover. Are you? No, you don't even know. Like, oh. there, I have so much makeup on right now, I feel like a drag queen. It's unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's you don't look good. like a dra- drag Thank queen. Thank you. Yeah, and you oh, look, that's so good. And you look so really great on the camera, so. How come you are hungover? What did you do last night? I was like, okay, so I'm not going to name drop because, uh, you know, well, I'm this not is not going to do that. This it's is too like, early in the morning. You are so Hollywood royalty. I no. I learned that when I went to the, I don't feel to, that way, to the dinner. Really? Oh, because I don't feel that way. I swear to God, like, I grew up seven years here in L.A. with my dad. And when I was with my dad, you know, I was a kid and I didn't really know yeah. Yeah. anything except for that he was papa he was never telly you know yeah. celebrity blah 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 of course not he was your dad right and then when he passed um i was like eight years old and we moved to minnesota oh you and did yeah and we moved to minnesota and we've lived a very like suburban normal life so when everybody always says like oh you're you know hollywood royalty i'm like Really? I feel like a oh, casserole Oh, come on. Check. When when I went to um, Verbata, verba- 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 I cannot verbrato. say the vi- Oh, I couldn't verbrato. pronounce it for the first three years that I performed there. <laughs> no, I think it's uh, vibrato. And then I used to call him Herb Albert. <laughs> I was like, I really love Herb, or Herb, Herp. I used to call him Herp. Herb Albert. Herp? Yeah, he actually, that was embarrassing. Yeah, he actually, uh, was- Herb Albert lived very close to where I grew up in the in the San Fernando Valley. Did he? In the I valley? Think, I think it oh was Herb Albert. Yeah, because it was Herb Albert. And the, and the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the Tijuana Brass. In the Tijuana Brass. Right. Yeah, he lives in Malibu now, I think. But yeah, yeah. I God, believe he lived in the man. valley on uh, on this random street that I used Did to walk he? by all the time. Yeah, and, oh, and, and, and we would go, oh, God, that's, you know, that guy's house. Oh, that's Herb. I know. Well, he's a sculptor, too. You could probably tell his house from the outside. He has a bunch of... 
Well, no, I don't know this if you was, had them then. Honey, but... this was more years ago than, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can imagine. I was 15. I was 15. So it was only 10 years ago. It was, for you. well, you know, even if you said 30 you years ago, we would have been happy. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I hate you. See, I'm 27 and everybody thinks that I'm 65. So there's oh, like, you please know. get off No, it. it's so much better to be older and look really young than it is to like be young and everybody think. I literally had a chick come up to me a couple days ago and be like, God, you know, you look so good for what are you like 35 36 i'm like oh my gosh bitch please can i say bitch on the radio you can say anything on my oh, show oh that's so wonderful it's an open forum i was mm-hmm. so scared i was talking to tony and i was like dropping f bombs left and right and he, i was like oh god i have to behave myself starting at noon he's like no. why yeah why this Stop is it. this is like internet radio but you know if we do put it on itunes or whatever they and, and we say the f word i said the f word explicit a couple of times content. yes explicit content <laughs> it'll be the only explicit thing i have on itunes <laughs> it's well um peter i uh, sorry yes. for um everyone i'm sorry for being late but i literally was <laughs> yeah i'm doing this thing ariana where um i'm testing out different colors against the backdrop yeah, that color so looks do- great. no i can't have and, and makeup, the bow don't think that i didn't and my bow Oh. Yeah, I put the, the bow. The bow is in. out of control. I love it. <laughs> and different hair things. And oh actually, I love your T-shirt. It picks up the green and the, does. In the earth. And it says Fitch is as that opposed to bitch. Is that ever Fitch? It is. But oh it my picks God. up the green and the globe behind you. It kind of looks really cool. Okay, so last week I was in red. <laughs> this oh week God. I'm in green. So green is, oh, are actually, we voting? Green actually is green, it? I, I love like green. it. Yeah, I green. I never thought that that green could be flattering. It's apple like a green. very like... Is it yeah. apple green? Yeah. Yeah. I think of like I, sp- I think of like peas, but it looks so gorgeous. I don't think it's pea green. I love it. No, 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 not pea green. Like, but whose pea is green anyway? What, I think that's bitch. disgusting. <laughs> I didn't. Sa- I said it's really flattering. <laughs> damn it! Listen to my old yeah. sentence. We Mad. have we have such a story of how <laughs> we met. You know, I haven't talked to really you did. since we were at Vibrat Vibrat Vibr- Oh my god, Vibrato Herb's I'll place. Just say, whenever you say V, I'm just gonna finish it. Just Thank vibrato. you. That night, um, so I'm here. Ariana is performing. Julie had been on the show. Her, your mother yeah. had been yes. on the show that day. She had such yeah. a ball. I couldn't be here. So we, so, so we went, and um, and I invited my lovely Italian husband. Oh right? my god, what so, Italian man? You don't have to say it. it's probably. No, no, no. Why- He's probably the watching this show for the first time because you're on it, right? But he, Peter, it was it. so funny. This is something you don't know. Nobody knows because I haven't talked to anybody since. But <laughs> so Ariana, I when I was in Chicago, I was always making reference to my husband when I'm up speaking and right. all of this stuff. So then Ariana, when she kind of performed winging this That's performance a great at way dinner, of putting it kind of performed is exactly <laughs> the way was, I would put it. Well, you know, it was you were compromised <laughs> to a certain extent. It was like a glorified karaoke session. <laughs> yes, it was. It okay. was really great. But it was beautiful. Thank but it was you. beautiful. That was really fun. Um, but anyway, she's just, I learned how, I saw how she's, you're, you're off the cuff and you, you you say things during your performance and blah, 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 blah. And so she would say something about, you know, my Italian husband. So <laughs> she's up there, she's up there performing and she picks, she does this thing and she points to him and he I has this friends there. Though. This is amazing. Wow. His, his friends, he has friends there that he didn't know were going to be there. They were just there to see you. Oh, you're joking. Swear to God. Oh, that's hysterical. Swear to God. And they're all like oh. whispering, going, I think that's Marino over there. I think that's Marino over there like oh that, right? Oh my God. But Marino. You, but you do this. She does this thing. <laughs> she does this, <laughs> this thing and points right at him. What and, do I do? Just, I don't even know what I do. I don't do. know. You said something about like Italian and you did this whole sexy thing oh and, and like pointed at him. Oh my God! He thought, okay, she picked me out of the audience, and she is like hot on my ass. Wow. And I'm thinking, I told him later. I said, you know, she knew who you were, right? And he, and he was like so disappointed. Oh, that's so sad. Don't ruin the illusion. That could have been, that could have been months hey, worth of fodder for him. Please Come on, pop that bubble as fast oh as my you God. can. Yeah, you got to get the Italians off their ego oh. trip, man. Bit on their high horse, you so gotta take him down a step. It was, it was actually. No, kind you know of what? Even if I didn't know who he was, I have, I like, I just have the sixth sense for people who are just begging to be picked on <laughs> in my audience. There's just something about them that just screams like, "You need to be harassed." It was perfect. It That's, was perfect. Oh, that was a fun night. He was sitting next to um, Uncle Lou. Who is no the beautiful man with the gray hair? I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus, Uncle, my uncle, your uncle. Gus. Uncle, Uncle Gus. Gus with the hair. With the oh, hair. Oh, that hair, man. 
Can you believe that he and my dad are from the same family? <laughs> Isn't that weird? I don't even Isn't know. Isn't that weird? Do they have the same mother and father? Oh, well, that we know of, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yes, of course. Absolutely. I mean, Uncle Gus is 90. He's 90. 93. And he just has huge hair, or what's his story? He's 93. Amazing hair. He is g- still uh, an extremely handsome man. Yeah. Funny, because I sat oh, next to him for a few minutes, and then I switched, and Marino sat mm-hmm. next to him. But this hair, this white, gorgeous hair... hair. And it's so funny because my dad had uh, has three brothers, uh, George, who was Stavros on Kojak, and then Uncle Gus, and then Uncle Teddy. And it's so funny because you would think that sort of, I think that receding hair or hair just in general runs in you your family so. bloodline, right? Yeah. Two of them had the most wild, bozo, crazy hair, like George had this crazy yeah, yeah, curly yeah, hair. I remember that. And Uncle Gus has this amazing, amazing, gorgeous locks. Yes. And Uncle Teddy has, you know, like sort of the Caesar ball. Oh, really? And my dad yeah. did too. Yeah. Until he shaved, shaved his head. bald. Yeah. And so I don't know. It's like, it was like half and half. Yeah. Well, I, I have two sons from two different fathers, and you know, Wyatt. He's a gorgeous man, and yeah. he just. But he has this. He's losing his hair on top and has for many. He's thirty three, but he has this amazing hair on oh, the side. That matter. is torture. We're all born bald, baby. That's what We're my dad used born. to say. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> I, such a pussy I think cat. I, Jesus. Uh, I so remember your your father, and it's funny because a certain age, you know, people people don't. But yesterday I was online, and somebody sent me sent a Twitter or something like this, and they're using your dad's. Oh, you're joking. Yeah, you have a new Twitter follower, and the picture was your dad with the lollipop. Oh my God, I got a <laughs> Facebook friend request. I had to take a picture of it and send it to my mother. I got a Facebook friend request from Telly Savalas. Wow, like, that's crazy. I didn't know they had Facebook in heaven. It's funny. Oh, and that's right. I clicked on I li- I added him as a friend just for the just for the balls. It was hysterical. <laughs> I mean, I was like, you know, there could be other people named Telly Savalas. No, he used my dad's picture. Oh, he did on his Facebook profile. <laughs> and he didn't realize that like, you were about actually I'm the daughter. From, I think he did. I think he was just like a really big fan, and just wanted to like keep my dad's spirit alive by like adding his family members on Facebook. That's too fun. It's kind of creepy, but I sort of dug it. It was really and you know speaking of fans, I'm just going to bring up this question right now, real quick. No, you can bring up anything you want because I want to maximize our time. Yeah, totally. Just since we're speaking of fans, really quick, I just thought this was really funny on your Twitter. You had posted some fan art. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, Well. I'm you actually going to show them the was picture. Was that the one of you? Okay. Not like Lady Gaga gets fan art, but you know, a lot of people, um, they'll either put compositions of like there was one that I think that's probably the one you're talking about. Yeah, it's um, kind of like your, of your dad father when you were yeah, over his... my dad. Yeah, and it's sort of like I don't. I got one message from my dad's friend who was like, um, puts on some clothes, girlfriend. <laughs> Right, because it kind of superimposes like, a picture of you with in a bra. I mean, it's a little pervy, but I thought it was so beautiful. Like, I'm sitting there in a bra, basically, and, like, leopard pants. And it superimposed a picture of my dad yeah. looking really gorgeous. like on yeah. top. And I just loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. Yeah, no, I artistic. actually thought it was cool, too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was a little whatever. Yeah. But my girlfriend I mean, that's an artist, Agnese, you know Agnese. Yeah, yeah. And she does. She's from Italy. She's Italian. Yeah. That's how I met my husband, actually. But oh, she's downtown Helena. Oh, my but God. But she's many years ago. But she, she's, I guess she was going through a cathartic phase, you know, just yeah. like six months ago. And, and, and she does multimedia and paints on it and stuff. But she did these ones of her, her a photo of her father, who has passed oh. away, and her at a certain age. And it's just this beautiful thing. Oh, God, that sounds it, gorgeous. It, it was so unusual, you know, because it's just... It's just beautiful. Yeah. It's just beautiful. That's so nice. You know, and and oh, how she did that. it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think they're maybe on her website. Yeah, I'll send you a link. Yeah, send it to me. I'd love to see that. Because it's just gorgeous how she did it. Yeah. And, you know, she thinks that, you know, she, we go to the same energy healer now. And the energy healer said, you just had to get energy that. Energy healer. Oh, yeah. What is you that? You want to hear about that? I'll tell I you really after. actually do want to hear about that. <laughs> it's Chiron Jesus. Energy where they go back. She goes back in your life and she's able to to move your energy around and see the energy in your past lives and all sorts of stuff. She healed my, she actually healed the, I hope my, I'm listening. (laughs) Anyway, we'll talk after the show. (laughs) A lot of people are listening right now. (laughs) A little on air whispering going on there. We'll talk after the show. (laughs) So there's so much to talk about and so many things that we want to know. And so little time. And so little time. I think, how about we get started with I think if we're lucky, Ariana might do a, a little acapella for us on the second half of the show. 
Yeah, if this has vodka in it, that's that's totally fine. <laughs> uh, can I drink this water, by the way? Am I going to sound like slurping on, no, on the radio? No, you can drink it. I'm, like, well, I'm just going to go. You're on, honey, yeah, okay. honey, you're on camera. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> it's natural. It's what people do. We drink you know? water. I know, but <laughs> I just don't want the people at home to be like, God, she sounds like she's just slobbering all over the microphone. Well. Not that that's so, how you sound, it, people at home. I'm just, you know. I'm just even if you it. were, they would see you because that's your camera. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. So I, figured... I have Dave Donnelly on my Facebook because he wanted me to <laughs> shout you out, so you better be listening. Okay? Wow, what a or shout watching. out. Right? Thank you. Dave a Donnelly is the luckiest guy in the world. Look oh, at that. Not yet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Dave Donnelly. He's my cousin. I can't make jokes like Red that. Red light alert. <laughs> did we do, what, what, did so, you, what did you do at the beginning of the show? Because we're already tw- okay, we're well, like 20 minutes just, into the show. Just in a nutshell, I mean, the audience, I, we, I just kind of like introduced the show, what we do, okay. you know, some of the things, cool. talked about the Kickstarter, so... But now to get back to Ariana, which is Lex, I think it would be Lexi a good is Ariana's time. cousin. Yeah, we met. That, right? We well, we didn't say cousin. She just knows oh, her yeah. on the I show. Uh, no, I mean, she, yes, she is. Okay, yes, she is. Okay, yes, is. that's out in the open. Good. I, that is out. But she did you. talk about Thank so you. fucking retarded Such that that an couldn't asshole. be. In re- <laughs> I didn't know, man. I was just I'm you, being you all PC <laughs> about it. You didn't know she was your cousin. No, that no, is I out in the open. No, I didn't know that it was out in the open. Now, okay, goody, we've come out of the closet again. So no, I think a good place to start, though, is like to let's play <laughs> Ariana's latest song. Oh, good. Like you have a, an album coming out. We're looking at the cover right now called Sophisticated Lady. Yes. It's available I on have, iTunes. It is. And I have a video, a music video for this song that you're going to play uh, that's coming out in about like a week or about a week and wow, a half. Wow. So, so it's in the can and ready to it's go. It's in the can. It's all it's all up and, and ready. It's and just... tell us just first, Peter, tell us a little bit about, did you write this one? I did. I did. I wrote the music and one the man lyrics. show right we're one gonna play one man show yep. I love this song oh thank you I do so I do so while we play it just so you know Peter's gonna turn the, the volume down on our or we could just sit here and listen to it that yeah. would be nice too but we have to shut up <laughs> if we do that <laughs> crap alright <laughs> so without <laughs> further insist. ado it's one man show by Ariana Savalas Walker, cool talker, sweaters made of tailored cream. Old schooler, and no one looks cooler in a tad blue pair of jeans. He's a one man show. Dancing on tables, making all the ladies swoon. Gone to Greece or Naples in November or June. Here today, gone tomorrow. He's a one man show. drinks coffee he only dines alone listens to you cause he truly wants to know never jaded so complicated oh no (laughs) he's a one man show and when he kisses me I feel it so low but when he rides Rides it so low, and no one ever goes in the passenger side of his big black, beautiful ride. He's a torture and a big old tease. He gets what he wants, he'll do as he pleases, and when he pleases you, he does it all so slow. Oh, oh. Ooh, and when he kisses me, I feel it's 
so low, but when he rides, he rides it so low, and no one ever goes in the passenger side of his big black beautiful ride. He will possess you, caress you in the ways you only thought that you would see in the movies. Girl, you better pray you never caught in the guise of this big, black, beautiful lies. <sighs> But when he kisses me. Does it oh so slow? He's a one man show. He's a one man show. He's a one man show. Just like it. Oh my I God. love it. That was One Man one Show man by Ariana Savalas. Amazing. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. <laughs> so, what was the inspiration behind that song, Ariana? A very bad, bad man. Really? <laughs> so bad he's good. Come on, we've all. I, do, I told Wendy this. I dedicated that song to her husband when he was there because. I mean, we all know the type. Because he's a he is a one man. He's show. a one man show where he's like you, they're like museums where you just they're beautiful, and just like really interesting, and you can't touch anything without getting in like a lot of trouble. That's sort of how I feel about these kind of men. You know what I mean? Well, you should come on over. Yeah, I'm, just come I'm on gonna, over. You I'm can do all come. the touching you want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I oh, get, married I get, life. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> I can totally relate because I get that from women all the time. You I know? bet you do, yeah, you pussy it's crazy. cat. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I certainly hope Marino is, n- Marino is not Marino, watching. Marino. You know, I dated a guy once, and I swear to God, like I wanted to marry him just for his name. His last name, if he hopefully he's not listening, but his last name was Merino Blanco. Oh, really? And I was like, I could have been Ariana Merino Blanco. Oh my God! You like could, just so you I could, could say be it like that. Could Ariana Merino Blanco. You could be Ariana Maronati if you want. <laughs> Marino Maronati. He goes, he goes like this. He goes, <laughs> he goes like this. This is the Marino Maronati show, by the way. <laughs> and he goes like this when he meets somebody. Like I watch him do this. Girls, he'll have sunglasses on, and he says, Marino Maronati. I'm Italian. And he takes his glasses. <laughs> oh, I'm Italian. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, that probably really? got him laid for like all of the 90s, though, man. I mean, I swear to God, it works. It works on women like me. It worked they for him a couple it. of Friday nights ago. I got to tell you. the Italian card. And I heard like, he got raped happened? at some club or something what? like that. <laughs> I swear. Anyway. Oh, my God. Okay, he's let's, a disaster. Let's get back to, um, <laughs> well, he's 57 years old. That's and he ridiculous. should not be at clubs with his boyfriends dancing, pole dancing, but whatever he was doing. Oh, my but God. Anyway, wait. he's 57 years old your husband is 57 yes shut your mouth now don't give him damn it ariana you you give him one more compliment i'll kill you he looks so good (laughs) god just love those it's okay i'm with somebody yes i know i met him you met him what's his name Aris. Aris. Aris and Aris and He's Ariana. Mist- I know. What are you going to name your I'm kids? Such, I'm such a narcissist. I had to date some, like Paris Hilton, like dated somebody who was like named Paris. That's like me. I'm like, oh, Ari. So. <laughs> I'm so happy. Blurred so wonderful. Um, <laughs> Peter. Yes, Wendy. Let me ask uh, Ariana a few questions. Yeah, real quick. Please. yeah. You should do that. What do you find? Because this is a marketing show, <laughs> right? I totally forgot we're supposed to be talking about like something no, important. Well, no, we'll ask one marketing que- okay, question. Okay, that's good. And it's my show, so we can do whatever we want. Um, what is your biggest challenge? You think in being an artist, being a young artist, yeah, um, singer songwriter? What have been your challenges as far as you know, um, bringing your work to to the public? Getting fat videos of me off YouTube. Oh, you have fat videos oh, of you God. on YouTube? No, you know, that, it's only half a joke. But honestly, like in this 
so, you know, it took me a while. I was telling, uh, I was telling Tony this in the um, in the green room, that it, it takes, or at least it took me a while to like find my voice musically. Um, you know, because I came from two very different parents. You know, obviously my dad, if he were alive, would be ninety three. And my mom, you know, is from a young sort of baby boomer generation right. of music. And so, you know, when I was a kid, I was brought up with everything from Queen to Sinatra, you know, Peggy Lee and oh, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, you and I both. Yeah. Um, you know, to like Peter Gabriel and George Michael yeah. and Annie Lennox. And, you know, so I had this crazy, you know, and then I grew up in the 90s. So it was sort of, you know, a different sort of pop music. And I had all of these influences. And I always knew that I wanted to be an artist. And I always knew that I was a singer. But but I really didn't know what my voice was musically. And um, when I first moved here, uh, I mean, I've kind of been off and on here my whole life, but when I moved here to be a professional singer, you know, I was singing at jazz clubs and I was kind of doing like small little cabarets and things like yeah. that, just singing, you know, swing standards, you know, nothing original, no original music. Um, and I was really like happy and miserable at the same time because I was like well I'm 24 you know what am I doing you know I'm singing you know other I'm just being basically a cover artist right. I don't know you know if that's making me happy and so of course being the you know intense person that I am instead of trying to find a happy medium between the two I took an entire year off and just you know went crazy and wrote all this original music and recorded this sort of I don't know very alternative kind of record very different from what I'm doing. Is that now. when you were blonde? Yeah. Uh huh. And you know, so that didn't make me happy because I loved recording it, but then it lost the intimacy for me live and trying to perform those songs, and it just wasn't making me happy. So, you know, I sort of went through these musical evolutions, I guess you could say, until I found this happy medium between the two, where you know, that's what I recorded this record. We chose to record it live. Um, in Chicago because you're a performer you're not thank you you know you, that's I think there's a there's a big difference right when you well, really enjoy doing has things their, live their gimmick you yeah. know and m for me my favorite and I what I couldn't live without is what I realized is that I couldn't live without that intimacy of an audience. audience no matter if it's you know for an audience of a couple thousand or or for a hundred it doesn't matter or for I 12 need that, or for 12 exactly at some <laughs> random Greek restaurant in Chicago <laughs> but you know it really you know I had a lot of discovery that came in finding this sound that and, and this show that I do now, which is sort of a happy medium between jazz standards that I interpret and uh, my original music, which I found a way to infuse jazz into. And the only bad thing marketing wise is that, you know, when you're discovering yourself in 2014 or 2010, you know, whatever, it's the age of YouTube. It's the age of... Um, but it never goes you know, away. It never goes away, you know, and it's one of those things that when you're trying to find yourself, you know, when I'm, you know, having my like, you know, kind of lesbian college years as a musician, you know, and then when you try to say, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is my footprint, um, you know, then your past sort of doesn't allow you to fully embrace that sometimes. And so yeah. that can be a, a that can be that's a big a, challenge. That, I think that that's a real <clears throat> big challenge because... Um, people don't realize, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, digital is great. So the whole digital yeah. thing is really wonderful. But at the end of the day, there's some really crappy things about it also. Yeah. Uh, things never die. It's like uh, the, the, the really saying die. really should be, you know, what stays on YouTube stays on YouTube. And as I mean, to Vegas. there's no like button where you're like, oh, I don't like that video. Can you please delete it? It's just, you know. Well, it depends on who uploads just, it. That's true. Right? That's you can't true. delete somebody else's. You can complain to YouTube, though, by the way, because that yeah. is your likeness, and you can say that you want that right. taken down. But, you know, there are certain things that, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I was signed to a label in Europe, and, you know, it's all things that are really fun and I'm really proud of that, you know, that happened. And, you know, there are performances of me, you know, in a little feather skimpy outfit, you know, singing pop crazy I Euro like pop that. music. I have to go Please search don't that. YouTube me. Please don't. Please don't do it. But, you know, it's. I think that that's probably been the biggest challenge for me is because I've had a, a very big arc as a musician, you know, and as a songwriter, sort of trying to find my voice. And, you know, trying to tell people, 
no, 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 no. You know, right. what you saw like, you know, right. four years ago, that's not, right. you know, and, and you grow up and you sort of, you know, find who you are and you embrace it. And then you kind of have to just figure out how to embrace your, you know, kind of heavier past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to let it go. Yeah, yeah you got to let it go yeah. without letting it go. Now let and me let your ego go. Let me too. ask. Oh, do you want to run the the commercial yeah, actually, real quick? Time is going by, so let's it's, just. Get, it is. It's like freaking flying by, Tony. So I want another fly hour, by, man. <laughs> so we're gonna get a word in from our sponsor, Direct Avenue. Direct Avenue is much more than a leading direct response TV media buyer. We specialize in the expert planning, brand building, analysis, and management of short form and branded DRTV ad campaigns. We manage direct response TV ad campaigns for clients throughout the United States and Canada. As a Direct Avenue client, you'll benefit from big agency relationships and resources, but receive boutique agency service with the flexibility and creativity to plan and manage a TV ad campaign that meets the particular 15. needs of your company. For more information, visit directavenue.com. When you contact us, mention you heard about us on the C-Spot radio show and receive a free analysis of your TV ad campaign. And we're back on the C spot going to market with Wendy and Peter. And we're here with Ariana Savalas. The Bonjour. the um the is Christo younger than you? Uh, by all intents and purposes, yes, no. But he's actually my older brother. He's, he is. Yeah, he is, and he has such a baby face. I freaking hate him. Okay, so you are the baby. So I am so the baby. The youngest the, of any of the Savalas youngest children. Youngest of six, yes, that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're the sexiest man alive. He was a pussy cat, man. He was. He, what are you, you going to do? Him with that lollipop, I was showing that to Marina, where I said, you know, because you, oh he doesn't God. really, because from Italy, he really isn't like in tune with who your yeah, dad was. Yeah, yeah, You know, and then there well, there, there was the cigar or the cigarette, and then all of a sudden it was the it lollipop. Was like a cigarillo. Something. It was like a, re- it wasn't like a cigarette, it was like a brown cigarette. It was, I think yeah, it's a cigarillo. A, yeah, yeah, whatever, cigaretto, yeah. cigaretto, cigaretto, cigaretto. It was a cigarillo? That looks sexier. I, don't know. I think it's just a girl cigarette. Or a guy. No, I used to actually. Never mind. We won't go there. This is like I can sit here and talk with talk well, to you about shit. We are just going to go to lunch and bitch about all the things that we can't bitch about on. Well, there. we are going to go. Are you are you going to come to lunch just, with us? Um, can you? Yeah. Of okay. Course. Good. Are you kidding? Just, yeah. Wow. I need wow, to wow. My stomach's going to start growling on air. It's going to be embarrassing. Well, I've lost seven pounds in the past six days. You so. look amazing. Oh, I had this thing going on with my mouth, and I was really stressed, and it's gone mm. now. I went to the dentist this morning. Of oh course, you go to the dentist, right, when something's bothering you for seven days. Yeah. And I go to the dentist this morning, <laughs> and it's everything's fine. And it's like, yeah, I know. It's not there anymore. Don't you hate that? Yeah. My dog just had that. I took him to the oh, vet, thank you. and he was, like, limping a little bit. He, like, jumped off the couch, and he started, you know, crying a little bit. So I rushed him to the vet. I'm freaking out. And, and he was fine. Day, yeah. I'm like hundreds of dollars later. Yeah. He's like, I'm okay. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, Peter. So, Peter. Um, so, what's up next for you? What's coming up and, and all that good up? stuff? Um, yeah. Goodness. I have um, a lot of shows that are coming up, but right now. Here in L.A.? Here in L.A., um, but that's not going to be till August. I'm going to oh. do a show in Seal Beach in July. And oh, then, good. Yeah, so, it was Seal so Beach fun. is right around the corner, and I'm in El Segundo, you know. Oh, my God, creative, you have to come. Creative capital of you the world. You have to come. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will come, because I'm it so can't excited. be too big a place in Seal Beach, right? It's so not that big. It's so fun, though. It's called Spagatini, uh-huh. and they do um, a live broadcast, 94.7 The Wave, oh. does a live broadcast there every Sunday for brunch, and it's so hysterical, and that's, you know, I sort of um, met their partners um they're doing a new restaurant in beverly hills with Dave sure Kaz. are they italian owners you know what i don't know if they're italian but they're sweethearts they're really nice people and um so we got introduced uh by a wonderful lovely mutual friend and they wanted me to come and perform for their flagship restaurant so and do you know what day it is uh yeah july 25th okay so july 25th, july 25th at spagatini at spagatini seal beach in seal so beach come please because i don't know anybody oh no i'll be beach. there i'll be there oh please come because i don't know I'm, like, anybody so in afraid seal beach I'm at, like, 10 people in my audience oh, like, no. i don't know anybody and oh, all the no. people i know can like barely come five minutes to beverly hills to come and see me 
Oh, well, that's ridiculous. But it that is. vibrato club is just a gorgeous club. Isn't it so swanky? Oh, my it's God. It's so just swanky. a gorgeous club. It's my God. Much. And the food was excellent. Everything about that place I just really loved. It's so nice. Couldn't believe I'd never been there before. It's amazing. It's a Wait, little nook. Hold on. I can believe it because <laughs> <laughs> we don't go anywhere. Because I don't go out. Oh, I know. So Unless so I'm no, performing, my I don't go out. It's terrible. He doesn't like to go out oh, with me. <laughs> with me. And with anyway. Me. We won't hey, go man, there. You're hot. Let's and just... speaking of Dave Cause, were you? Did he play with you? I think we have a photo of you. Yeah. Singing oh God, with him. Dave. Dave is not. I'm gonna go pick his name up off the floor after I've just dropped it. But um, Dave is is a, a very sweet, dear friend of mine. Actually, we're we're neighbors now. <laughs> I don't we even like know who Dave Cause is. is. I'm, Dave, Dave I'm, Cause. Dave, I am sorry. I don't know who you he's are. He's a famous saxophonist. Yeah, he's oh, like this. I love he's like the sage of Kenny players. G. Excuse me. Like much Hold on, I have to like he's melt. So sexy. I know. Oh. I know. Right. I know. I melted when he. I'm just like get that sax away from me. Yeah. And yeah. also speaking of Dave Cause, you also we've got a photograph here with you with Postmodern Jukebox. Are you going to be do? performing oh, with them? Goodness. Oh, I thought the video was uploaded. Oh, Peter's oh, good. I was like, I didn't know. Peter's good. I love. Do you know the Postmodern Jukebox? Oh, Peter? I'm a huge fan. Shut They're up. amazing. I love them so I love much. Postmodern Jukebox. I was in New York, and I just I got introduced to them actually through a mutual friend of Dave's and their manager. Um, just some random, random connections, but two people at like completely unrelated said, "You need to work with these guys." Yeah, They're you're called the perfect Postmodern for Jukebox. them. Isn't it? Thank you. I mean, and I was like, who the hell are the Postmodern Jukebox? I looked them up online. They have like 60 million hits on YouTube. Yeah. They're going on tour now. They're wicked famous. It's unbelievable. And so and we Basically collaborated. what they do is they take modern pop songs, but mm -hmm. he does them in old time styles. Like this is 20s Hysterical. jazz. And this they is. They do like flapper versions, doo-wop versions of Miley Cyrus. It's Really? It's amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Amazing. You're going to die for our song choice. Scott Bradley's the the guy who right. does it. Actually, not to get completely off topic, but do you know, and this was like divine serendipity, Scott Bradley loves ya is his tag, his username on YouTube. And it comes, I had no idea, but like he found out that Dally was my dad and he's like, do you have any idea where Scott Bradley loves you come from? No Who loves way. you, baby? Who loves, loves you, baby? Can you, I mean, are you, can you believe it? That is so kidding? random and oh, it's serendipitous. Terrible. Oh, it's so meant to be. Yeah, Scott is, oh my God, that dude is so that's talented. That's very cool. It's stupid. I yeah, totally in believe in that. In a couple weeks, that. that's, it's, uh, it's going to be uploaded on YouTube, so. That's too much fun. It's you, so fun. You know what? You have to come back every once in a while, because oh, it's so guys, fun having you so here. so fun. Oh my totally. God, I love yeah. radio. You know? I love this so much. This is so fun. And we have fun doing this show because now it's video. Yeah, and it's it goes audio by too, so but it's video. fast. My mom had so much fun on the show. Yeah, we had oh we, my God. we had fun with with your mom. I pinched her ass when we were taking a picture. Actually, oh actually, actually I goosed her. I didn't I'm pinch her totally ass. Goose I totally goose goosed her. I'm no, you can't goose me because my it won't goose. My pants are too tight. <laughs> but I'll you just can put a hole in it. You can goose. You can goose me later. I told my, you know, last night I said, I think I finally found the woman I'm in love with. <laughs> he said, what? Oh what? my God, I hope what? it's me. Koza? Koza? Yes, it was you. Oh, that's so wonderful. It was. It was. Oh he, my he God. was like, it's you know, all right. He can look ugly sometimes. We and so, you know, because time. Us. Wow. We, we do. Look at me lot. like trying to interrupt lesbian talk what's what's the world coming don't to don't you interrupt when our lesbian talk man come on i'm trying to move the show forward Somewhere and all of a sudden i hear like just lesbian like talk shaking his head <laughs> anyway uh, excuse me peter what, what were you yes, saying the, <laughs> the time is flying by we have about seven minutes left of the show oh my lord well uh ariana can just do half a acapella yeah song. like maybe just a few lines of something acapella oh, kind of like it's of too late i have to do can this you, when i'm like totally hung over well, you, so you, you know what you don't have to yeah, i'm totally doing it i'm totally doing it i love you guys too much and it's and it's your choice but you know the songs that i like the most is it's i won't be able to remember the name which is the one about uh, it's there's it's too late or it's too is it late my, my song it's too your song yeah, yeah 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 do you want me to sing that for you yeah okay let's 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 yeah. do it right now is that the one that i like really i like them all but i think that's the one that i yeah really maybe like just a like lot. a few lines of it just you just got it yeah. honey yeah i'll be you quiet it. it's be actually it's very appropriate because i wrote this song in palm beach really drunk <laughs> at like two in the morning so this is like this is bright okay it's perfect so you're an alky anyway what <laughs> runs in the family i won't move it's real late you're knocking at my door don't really know what you came here for you look so sweet and you smell so nice you're wearing a t-shirt and that movie star smile but baby i don't know what to do 
And baby, I don't know what you want to do, but I know you didn't come all this way to say hi. And I would really love to let you in, but I just can't take saying another goodbye. Who, if you're looking for a friend, then stay. But if you're looking for my heart, I already gave it away. If you want to come finish what you can't start, want to see me falling apart, that's great. But if you're looking for my heart, you're too late. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. I love that Thanks song. so much. And that that is, was so amazing, that's, Ariana. That was only like kind of off-key. That's good. It was beautiful. And you know what? Guys. That's on and the, the album. And the emotion behind it. Wow. That's, oh, that's on, on your album. That's on my record. Yep. Yeah. Record. And, and you know that we should just let the audience know. I actually put together... Your main photo on your web page, I put all your contact information there. So let's, oh, why don't you tell the your audience. Personal, your my personal, personal phone number, your cell phone number. number. No, <laughs> no, your, like your website and your, your social address. media. So why don't you go ahead and, and go, tell, the, tell the people how they can reach you. Oh my God. Call me, mail me, page me. Um, don't you have an agent? Well, yeah, um, that's a long story. Oh, that's another yeah, story. Yeah, actually I do, He's but he's in Europe, so unless you want to call long distance. Um, <laughs> no such You can thing. find me on Facebook. <laughs> it's really easy. It's just my name, like Facebook slash my name, Twitter slash my name, SoundCloud slash my name. It's just slash my name. And, and you'll YouTube probably find slash your name. Slash yeah, my name. And they're all up on screen there, so it's people so nice. can even write it down. Nobody has my name. But you right. have to admit, Ariana, what I love about your... the. I, what I love about you is that you've made me really love jazz. Yay! Seriously. Oh thing. God, that's like the best. Because I'm not a big. Ever. I'm a Peggy Lee. Because somebody took me once to see Chris Kattan's dad. Actually, Chris Kattan Shut from up. Saturday yeah, Night. Yeah, from SNL. Yeah. yeah his his dad, dad is a jazz singer. Well, no, his dad took me. His dad was a oh. a, a, a comedian. Uh, one of the original. Um, Groundlings, Great. and and Kip took me to see Peggy Lee, and I was oh like, I was in my twenties, and I said, uh, Peggy Lee, hmm. and he goes, trust me, and yeah. I, we were at this little tiny theater in Hollywood, and I was right in the front row, right in the middle, and she was right there, and when she did that, what's the song that she does? The um, fever, fever. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she was. She was. Pfft. Oh my God! Yeah. I mean, if, if there was ever a female performer, her and Ella Fitzgerald. I mean, yeah. and Julie London too. Don't Julie London is like always the who? You know what I mean? Like every, obviously, oh, everybody I, I, just, I would say who? Yeah, like everybody knows Peggy Lee. Everybody knows yeah. Ella. But Julie, go look up Julie London. I if I had to say like who I aspire to be like, it would be Julie London. Oh She's really? The sexiest bitch on the planet. Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. Oh is my you God! You are so. Sexy. Stop it. Serious. It's just the makeup. <laughs> Come here. It's okay. No, <laughs> you're so under. sexy. Come in uh, under the table. <laughs> no boys Peter. allowed. Don't let Peter <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah. On all that sexiness notes, we need to wrap up the show. We have a minute. Oh, we do. Yeah. All right. Let me do it. Let me say. Let me say thank you to my guest. Too. I'll say thank you after the show too. Oh my God, you better. Okay. Uh, but thank you, Ariane, for being here. Oh, I'm so Seriously. happy to be here. I and love you guys. For us. I've been emailing Peter back and forth. It's so happy to just and see you, him face to face. And you ha and you have to download the album on iTunes. What's it called again? Sorry. Sophisticated lady. It's Sophisticated supposed to be lady. ironic. I don't know if you oh, get the is? humor after this show. <laughs> well, I named it sophisticated they have I'm a moron, they so have, that's why. They do have to know you in order to get that. I understand yeah. that, but there's nothing unsophisticated about your about your record. It's oh, it's thank wonderful. You. Thank Seriously. you. I love you. Thank Seriously. you. Seriously. It's oh, great. That'd be so great if you guys could and check And it's $5.49 it on is iTunes. It? Oh, that's yeah. so nice. That's such a bargain. That's a great Go buy deal. it, man. That's totally. like a Starbucks. For some amazing music. It, that's it is. unbelievable. It is. Or just like Spotify it and don't pay for it, but like, you know. Oh, can you Spotify it? And yeah, not pay it's on for Spotify. It? Well, you have to pay for Spotify, but well, exactly. But yeah. Do you get some royalty when Spotify plays it? I always wondered how that worked. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a marketing show. I'm the worst person to talk. No, about. well, yeah. actually, we're here at UBN because we can play music because UBN. We just can't do it on YouTube, but we have permission from you, so we can we can right, upload this show to right. YouTube and it will play on YouTube. Super duper. Yeah. Um. And so, Peter, sorry, yes. <laughs> sorry, I haven't seen you all week, nor have I talked to you okay. during we'll this show very much. <laughs> He's so quiet. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, we're such like loud bitches. Well, you when need there's to just, a couple like, of talkative ladies, I just sit back <laughs> and you know, uh, clucking like chickens here. It's but terrible. I do, I do want to thank our sponsor, Direct Avenue. Yes. And Scott, I I called you yesterday, and I am meaning to call you again today. But you know, I'll get to that. Um, a shout out to everybody, all of everybody that's listening. We had a great first month. We had a tremendous amount of uh, live pe- uh, of people watching the mo- the the show, and we had an extraordinary amount of people who actually downloaded. So yeah, we're we're amazing. super happy to be here at UBN, awesome. and uh, we thank everybody here um, uh, because we just love being here. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I love you, Peter. I love you, Wendy. I love you, Peter. And, I love you, and, Ariana. And actually, <laughs> a lot of actually, love. I love Ariana yeah, just a little bit more. Andy. <laughs> I could see that. I'll take that. That's fine. All right. So we got we gotta we gotta chime it out of here. Yeah. Huh? So we'll be back next week on the C spot. Yes, we will. Going to market with Wendy and yes, Peter. Yes, we will. And you and know, and I'll do little, my I'll do my little dance because we can't get to the board fast enough. Right. You know, so and a little, here we go. A little shout out to our outro music composer. Tom Morsey. <laughs>